Movie Thoughts. Movie Thoughts. Ghostbusters is the all-female reboot of the 1984 film with the same name. Starring Christian Wig. Christian? It is Christian Wig, isn't it? Starring Christian Wig, Melissa McCarthy, Kate McKillen, and Leslie Jones as the Ghostbusters. And, um... Okay, let's just put it out there straight away. It's really not very... It, it's not brilliant. <laughs> Nobody thought it was going to be very good. However, it was better than what I was expecting, and I wasn't expecting much, especially from the trailers. So, let's get down into the nitty-gritty, shall we? Um, I'm actually going to do this a little bit different. Um, well, I at least I see it a little bit different. I'm going to just, like, sort of say what I didn't like about it and not really explain it too much. But I'm actually going to fo focus more on the positives. Because there were positives in this film. And I, I've got a feeling that a lot of people are going to send a lot of hate this film... Uh, this way, and it's all not that bad. I mean, it's not brilliant. It's kind of boring in places. I don't like using that word. I use it a lot, though, so maybe I do like using that word. But anyway, let's get on with it. So the initial start, I actually really enjoyed the initial start. Um, the impression with, like, the ghost, um, the first scene with that ghost... I thought it was kind of spooky, it was kind of funny, it made, it had a little bit of jump scares in sort of the right place, and the ghost at the end looked really cool. However, when I thought about it, um, the original Ghostbusters, and I'm going to be doing this a lot, but the original Ghostbusters film, um, the initial scene where it sets up there was a ghost in the library, you never actually see the ghost, and that brings the more sus a lot more suspense to when you finally see that ghost for the first time. Whereas in this, you see it, and it uh, takes away that suspense, unfortunately. But anyway, I did enjoy that first scene, and I, I actually went into that. After that scene, I was like, oh, wow, this actually might be quite good. Okay, let's watch this. Um, <laughs> Holy shit, I just looked down at my notes, and this is literally put I've, what I've put. Great character in the blonde crazy buster. That's literally all I put. I have no idea what that means. Uh, let me think about this for a second. I think this is referring to Kate, Kate McKillen, which I generally, generally loved in this character. I, I thought that she was the most charismatic out of the four Ghostbusters. I thought that she brought the most to the table. Now, none of the um, Ghostbusters had any character arc at all, really. And really, if you think about it, neither did the original Ghostbusters. They didn't really have much of a story arc. So I can kind of see why those these characters don't have arcs or motivations. However, what I am going to say is that the, most of the charisma in this film, I felt, came from Kate McKillen. Um, Kate McKillen plays Gillian Holtzman, um, who is like this wacky scientist and essentially plays... Um, a very over-the-top version of a whack, wacky scientist. But she doesn't do it in, like, such an atypical way of I wear spectacles, I'm crazy, I say clever things. She does it in a genuinely kind of uncomfortable insanity route that you kind of get behind, and I really enjoyed her time on screen. Any time that she was on, I was genuinely pleased to be watching it. I wasn't laughing out loud, but I was I was enjoying it. The rest of the cast, I thought, maybe a little bit weak. Uh, Christian Wig. Okay, so she, she, her, she's got a, she's got big shoes to fill because Bill Murray is Bill Murray, and Bill Murray is just perfect. Like he is fantastic in most roles he does. He is brilliant. He is hilarious. He's funny, and what he brought to the Ghostbusters was his, his wit, his charisma, his cleverness and his sly weird actually i don't kind of like this person but it's you like him because it's bill murray whereas christian wig she kind of came a little bit needy in times and yeah it's i don't know it kind of a little bit eh not brilliant but okay anyway i i just want to say like i love Kate McKillen in this. I thought she was brilliant. Leslie Jones's character, that was classic Leslie Jones. I'm not... I wasn't sold on that. She just kind of... It was just kind of Leslie Jones. 
Um, Melissa McCarthy, I thought she was pretty good. I generally liked her. Um, she was a little bit predictable at times, though, and not as good as what I was hoping. Like, she's essentially the Ray character, and Dan Aykroyd as Ray is just brilliant. Um, so, again, big shoes to fill, and I don't think she quite fills it. No, okay, I'm going to go into nitty-gritty things here, because I know I said I wouldn't, but I've got to do it. Um, the story, it was complex. Like, the villain's motivation was just unrealistic. It was stupid. Like, oh, people are being mean. Essentially, people are being mean to him, and he wants, basically, to kill everyone. That That's, that's, pr that's pretty much his whole motivation. That was his whole story arc. It was very one-dimensional. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't entertaining. I don't think. I thought it. That was probably one of the weakest parts of the story. Um, the CGI though, the CGI was amazing. I thought those ghosts were fantastic. I, th because looking back on Ghostbusters now, thirty years is, is a long time, and some of the shots, some of the special effects they use, especially with the big wides of. The dog chasing Rick Moranis around. <laughs> oh, Rick Moranis. Oh, wow. Oh, he wasn't even in this. But anyway, um, like, the CGI is dated, and I think that this film has done a very good job. They, it's done a very good job of the CGI, and it's made the lo ghost look scary and funny at the same time, and that's a very hard thing to do, because you they could have gone a whole way of just making it a farce, but they stuck... They stuck to a lot of the ghosts from the original, and uh, most of the ghosts they redid. But um, I, I generally really enjoyed the ghosts. I thought they were fantastic. The slapstick comedy does fall short. Um, I think that's more poor editing. Um, a lot of the edits, it, you kind of miss the punchline. So there's one bit where Kristen Wiig slips up over slime and then it cuts to her falling over but you never actually see that am impact and there's a m harsh cut in between and it's obvious that it's a stunt double and it's obvious that it wasn't done in one take and you never it, you don't get the punchline whereas if that was a wide shot of her walking in and she just goes on her back and it's one take that would be hilarious that would be brilliant but Editing, shot-wise, it's not funny to me. I didn't find that funny at all. Overall, it is a dumb movie. It's a really dumb movie, and it doesn't really have a proper story. And what story it does have is complex, and it goes off on tangents here, there, and everywhere. And I think it's too big, whereas the Ghostbusters focused on, like, one storyline. Uh, the original focused on one storyline. Um, whereas this one kind of... I expanded it a little bit too much, and I think it overstretched itself at times. And it is a shame because I would, I want this. I wanted this to be good. I wanted them to prove me wrong. Um, it has entertained me though, and I did sort of sit there and I wasn't clock watching, which I have been doing for a lot of films recently. I I wasn't sat there thinking this needs to end now. This needs to end now. I I did enjoy myself. So in that respect, it's done well. Overall, I am going to give this a 5 out of 10. And that's because, um, yes, there are, there are a lot of problems with it, and I'm not going to go into too much detail with those problems. But there are a lot of problems. But there are also some really good things, and if you focus on the good things, then it's an okay movie. Like, this is an average movie. I wouldn't say that this is what movies should be, but I think that this is what would happen if you don't really add or take anything, or if you have so much positive and negative that it's all equal and it balances each other out and that's what this movie is that's why i've given it a five out of ten um it's a, it's a shame because i really wanted i really wanted this to be good I, I wanted this to be classic but unfortunately it's not anyway those are my thoughts on the ghostbusters now please tell me how much of a feminist i am not how much of a racist I am. Whatever you want, uh, you know, it's gonna come my way now because I've hated the all-female cast of the Ghostbusters, you know? <sighs> I Hopefully, hopefully ever, people will see past that and will see why I've broken this film down and why I haven't liked it and what parts I did like. Like, <laughs> there are parts that I liked about this film. Uh, Kate McKillen, in particular, 
I thought was astounding. I thought she was brilliant. And I, I think that was because I've not seen her in anything before. Whereas the others I have. And I'm not really a fan of them. So, yeah. Anyway, guys. Until next time. Final thought, final, final thing, and then I'm gonna turn off the recording, and then I'm gonna go to bed, because I'm fucking tired. But yeah, I just wanted to add that I am aware that Christian Wig has done some really good films like The Martian and um, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Uh, well, I, the second film isn't a brilliant film, but I really enjoyed her in that. So I just wanted to add that. Like, I do. I, I do know that she can do a really good job, especially in The Martian. I thought that she did that role really well. And it's she doesn't play herself, but in this she plays herself. I'm going to go.